Hello everyone, and welcome to your Banner orientation. Banner is your student information system. In this video, we will explore how to access, navigate, and identify Banner's key functions. We encourage you to watch the entire video, though you can skip ahead to the section or sections that best fit your needs. If you choose not to skip ahead, we'll learn how to access and log into Banner, as well as introduce Banner's key functions. As a Georgian student, you'll engage and interact with Banner quite regularly throughout the duration of your education. We'll use Banner to register for courses, make changes to your timetable, view your timetable, book list, and student fees, access your tax forms, unofficial transcript, apply to graduate, and more. Now that we have a better understanding of Banner, let's get started. Banner is accessible from the login button or the quick links in the student portal. After confirming your offer to a Georgian College program, you will have received a confirmation letter or letter of acceptance, identifying the login and default password for all student systems. If you no longer have access to your login credentials or simply require assistance logging in, contact the Georgian College IT Service Desk. Once logged in to Banner, select Banner Main Menu. The main menu presents us with a number of options to support our preferred banner uses. Under each banner tab is a series of sub-tabs that can be found on the next screen. We'll be exploring the first four tabs, which house banner's primary functions. First on our list is the Personal Information tab. At the top of the personal information menu items, we are able to view your current address and contact information. If you've changed your address, please complete and submit the address change form accessible from the Georgian College website. Next on our list is your emergency contacts. You can view your current contacts and add new contacts. Simply complete the required fields and provide a contact order number. Finally, your social insurance number. If you have not previously provided this information, you will have been prompted to enter your social insurance number during registration. This information is confidential and is collected for tax purposes only. We're off to a great start. Let's now return to the main menu and explore the registration options. As a domestic student, you are required to pay a deposit once per academic year. For semesters, you are not required to pay a deposit. You must reserve your seat to enable registration. International students are required to pay full fees prior to registration and therefore do not need to reserve their seat. You can verify your recommended courses for this term prior to registration. While we can identify the registration period from the important dates page on the Georgian College website, not all programs will be registering on the same day and time. To verify your exact registration date and time, check your registration status. Your registration status will inform you if you have any holds on your account preventing registration, if your academic standing and student status permit registration, and if you have successfully reserved your seat. Now that we know our registration status, we are ready to register for courses. 
During block registration, full-time students are able to select from available pre-built timetables. These timetables contain your mandatory courses for the respective term and help to avoid scheduling conflicts. As you move through the registration process, you'll be able to select option, communication, and general education courses if required for your program and semester. If your program has integrated co-op work terms, you'll need to register in Banner just as you would to register for courses. The process is the same. Simply select Register for Co-op Work Term and select a timetable. Be sure to check the important dates page on the Georgian College website to verify the first and last day to register for co-op. If you had missed your registration window or need to make changes to your current registrations, you can easily do so during the add and drop period using the add drop and withdraw from courses feature in Banner. Part-time students can register for courses using the Continuing Education page on the Georgian College website or the Add Drop and Withdraw from Courses feature in Banner. There are two ways we can add courses using Add and Drop, either by entering the five-digit CRN number or searching courses Choose to search for your recommended mandatory courses, communication and general education courses, or search for an individual course. Further down the list of registration options is your weekly timetable. This timetable will show the current courses you're enrolled in, as well as the class location and the day and time in which your classes occur. Courses scheduled asynchronously will show just above your timetable under the heading Courses Without Assigned Meeting Times. You may need to use the Next Week option as your registered courses will not be scheduled prior to the first week of classes. We recommend printing your weekly timetable as it will be a helpful resource for your first few weeks of classes. Naturally, if you haven't registered for courses, you will have a blank timetable. Last on our list is your book list. Much like your weekly timetable, if you have not registered for courses, you will not have a populated book list. Your book list is generated from your list of current registrations. For each of your registered courses, we can verify the book title cost, and level of dependence placed on each book. Some courses may have multiple books required. We highly encourage you to purchase your textbooks. These textbooks are essential tools that support your student success and conveniently allow you to access core course information from a single source. When you're ready to purchase your books, click Buy Books. The same way one would shop online. You can add books to your shopping cart and select Purchase to proceed to payment. There are a variety of on-site pickup and delivery options, making book orders convenient for students. Refer to the Register for Courses page on the Georgian College website for everything you need to know about registration. This webpage provides a complete step-by-step -step process, including detailed registration videos to simplify the student experience. You're doing great. Let's return to the main menu and learn how to make a deposit payment in Banner. If you're a full-time student, you can make your deposit payment in Banner. From the Make a Deposit Payment screen, you're able to see your full program fees for the given term, including any previous payment made toward these fees. Deposit payments made in Banner are limited to $250, payable by credit card only. 
international students are encouraged to make payments via online banking or, for payments made outside of Canada, Flywire. When you're ready to make a deposit payment, click Pay Deposit and provide the required information. As mentioned earlier, students can make deposit payments via online banking. In the same way one would pay a bill, simply add Georgian College Tuition as the payee and enter your nine-digit student number as the account number. You can then enter the amount you wish to pay and process your deposit payment. For payments made outside of Canada, we encourage students to utilize Flywire. For more information regarding payments and fee deadlines, please refer to the How to Pay page on the Georgian College website. Let's return to the Banner main menu and explore our academic record and fee account details. At the end of each semester, you can see your final grades for the given term. These grades, as well as a completed summary of your previous academics, will show on your unofficial transcript. While grades are easily accessible from this content area, so are your student fees. Georgian remains completely transparent in presenting students with an account summary of their student fees. Both your student fees and any payments you've made are easily accessible at any time throughout the duration of your studies. Click View Account Summary by Term to view your student fees for each individual semester. This is a more simplified way to interpret your student fees, as the total account summary will show aggregate fee amounts. Total columns are provided to clearly display your term's charges, payments and credits made toward your student fees, and your term balance. A negative term balance indicates overpayment to Georgian College for the given term. No action is required by the student. This credit will automatically transfer to your next term's fees. If you are in your final semester and have a credit on your account, Contact the Office of the Registrar to receive a refund. In your final semester, you'll be required to apply to graduate. This is certainly an exciting time for our Georgian students. Your application to graduate is quick to complete. Once submitted, you'll be able to verify your graduation status in MyPath. Initially, your graduation status will indicate pending. Once the graduation audit is complete, this status will change to either Will Graduate, indicating that all program requirements have been met, or Has not met graduation requirements, indicating that there are one or more outstanding requirements for your program. We encourage you to continue monitoring your official Georgian College student email and personal email for information regarding your convocation ceremony. More information regarding graduation and your convocation ceremony can be found on Georgian's graduation page. Well done, everyone. This concludes your banner orientation. We hope you're now feeling more comfortable with accessing, navigating, and utilizing banner. If you have questions beyond this video resource, contact the Office of the Registrar. For more helpful resources like this one, click on the Academics page in the Student Portal.